back to the checks you did on the tractor brakes, the checks for the trailer brakes are similar. The seven checks to do here are the air line, the ABS line, the brake chamber, the slack adjuster, the push rod, the brake drums, and brake linings. When checking the air line, check to make sure it's not cut, frayed, or leaking. It should be securely mounted on both ends. The ABS line can't be cut or frayed. It can't be corroded or have any exposed wires. It should be securely mounted on both ends. Next, the brake chamber should be securely mounted, free of any dents or damage, including leaks. Make sure to listen for any audible air leaks. The slack adjuster. Make sure it's not cracked or broken. It can't have any visible damage and it must be securely mounted. With the brakes released, there should be no more than one inch of free play when pulled by hand. It should be properly greased. The push rod is at the back of the brake chamber. With the brakes released, the push rod should not move more than one inch. It should be securely mounted and be properly greased. The brake drums can't be cracked, broken, or dented. Be sure to check for any oil that may be leaking from the inner oil seal. It should be free of debris. Remember that drum brakes have slack adjusters and disc brakes do not. You should know the difference. The brake linings. They should not have cracks, breaks, dents, or holes. They should not have any missing parts or any visible damage. The thickness measurement needs to be more than one quarter inch. The return spring should not be cracked or broken or have any visible damage. It should be securely mounted. The seven checks on the trailer brakes are the airline, the ABS line, the brake chamber, the slack adjuster, the push rod, the brake drums, and brake linings. The trailer